In this video, we will show you how to take pictures using the 3D Changer Car Configurator. Before we start, save your work by going to the top menu, clicking on the disk icon, selecting a new project slot and hitting the Save button. Next, head to the Camera section and select Photo from the menu on the left. In the Camera settings, you can adjust the zoom, aperture, roll, pitch or yaw. Hold the Shift key and use the mouse wheel to achieve the dirty zoom effect. You can keep an automatic focus or switch to a manual. If you choose a manual focus, turn on the help plane to see where the focus is placed. Move the plane by changing the distance. Once you are finished, hide the plane. You can also activate the free camera movement, which lets you to move around the scene without any restrictions. To move, use the arrow keys or the A, S, D and W keys. If you want to preview your picture without the menu, press the M key to hide it. Press the G key to enable or disable the photo grid. All of the shortcuts can be found in the top menu, under settings and keyboard. When you are happy with the camera position and settings, it's time to render. Go to the Save As window, set the frame size, resolution, enter a file name, and choose a folder for saving. Click on the Take Shot button. After the rendering is finished, you will see a preview of the image. By clicking on the preview, you can access the saved folder. You can render more photorealistic pictures if you have a powerful graphic card that supports ray tracing. Unfortunately, this won't work with an integrated or low to mid-end graphic card, as the feature is not supported on these. To enable path tracing, go to Settings and graphics. You can adjust the path tracing quality. The higher the number, the longer the rendering time will be, but the image quality will also be higher. You can hide the menu to see the progress bar. Once the rendering is complete, save the picture. Keep in mind that rendering and saving images with path tracing enabled requires a lot of power, so it's best not to save pictures at a higher resolution than the full HD. Alternatively, you can hide the menu and take a screenshot. The final image quality will depend on your computer's performance. So we recommend having a powerful graphic card, like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 or a higher version. If you experience crashes during the rendering process, it could be because your graphic card isn't powerful enough for the set resolution. For more tips and inspiration, follow us on Instagram and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching!